If we are to obtain the purifier technology, then we must move quickly. The Taldarim are preparing to fire upon the facility. Hierarch, the Taldarim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius's orbital defenses. I am First Ascendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here, and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little which you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in! The displacement beam is advancing. We must reach the vault before it is destroyed. I am detecting a Taldarim force amassing outside of our nexus point. We must prepare for assault. Wait, these sentries were left behind. Let me activate them. They are quite effective at restoring shields to nearby warriors. Our forces are near the displacement beam. We must remain alert and stay out of its range. Our forces are in mortal danger. Get them away from the beam. Hyrock, I'm detecting movement from the Taldarine fleet. Multiple transport signatures inbound on the facility. Warp prisms. Clever. Alarak is activating the facility's old defenses, using them against us. Veraku. Acquiring access. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. You are not as weak as you appear, Artanis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of Adun. Wait. There is... Prototype war here, here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. You wish to see me, Faye Smith. Artanis, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix, how. how can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the Purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the Source personality, I thought... well... He believes he was brought from Stasis and made a Dragoon. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ogdaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a Trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the will of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Carax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of Adun. You and I have stood shoulder to shoulder, blades thrumming in the heat of battle countless times, and now you lead the Protoss. I well with pride at the mere thought of it. I was chosen to represent the Hierarchy by the remaining Judicators and the clans of the Nerezim. I am still honored by their choice. Tazadar must be proud as well. 
Tassadar is gone, Phoenix. He fell, bravely sacrificing for his people. He saved us from annihilation. What? It... it cannot be. And... I... fallen to the Zerg as well? It has. How long have I lingered in stasis, becoming this... Dragoon? Do you know of the Purifier program, Phoenix? Of course. The greatest Templar minds replicated. Dangerous machines that had to be shut down. They were shut down, but we have never ceased the research, and still have tried to find ways to replicate our greatest Templar, to use that ancient technology. Why do you tell me this? I... I... We are facing a war like none we have seen before. We will need you in the days ahead. Maybe even the purifiers. Then my blades are yours, old friend. These new purifier designs rival any technology our people have previously conceived. The replication data is the sort that allows accurate duplication of one's consciousness. Phoenix's personality may be accurate. How accurate? Within the 99th percentile. So there is a chance for discrepancy. Quite a minuscule one. And in a lifetime, how many choices does that variation impact? Who would you be with such a difference in the decisions you've made? Keep a watchful eye on Phoenix. If he is to help us, I want to know who he is. Not even Judicator Duralis would have taken such risks. Or Judicator Saldrian. Hmm. Well, perhaps. But that is not the point. Many of my Dark Templar have volunteered to act as scouts for us. They will keep us aware of Amon's movements. Seeing Phoenix once more perplexes me. I feel sadness, but I should feel joy. It is said the warrior Phoenix was felled by the Queen of Glades. This approximation is not Phoenix, but he is a reminder of the loss you suffered. His voice, thoughts, his very presence. He describes memories we shared with such vivid recollection. Every instinct I have tells me that this is my friend. But all logic defies it. We of the Nerezim often ponder whether our people are the sum total of their experiences, or are more than them. A truth lingering inside us. In time, we shall see if this phoenix has his own truth, or is little more than a flawed forgery. I see the master construction of the Zelnaga now. Their understanding that energy, essence, and information are all one. Each interchangeable, each mutable. Then you uncovered the information Zeratul foresaw within this keystone. I have. From what I understand, it will lead us to Ulnar. Ulnar? It is a place of myth. A realm whispered of in our legends. The homeworld of the Zelnaga. I believe the Keystone can project its location. Show me, Karax. survive within such unrelenting forces. It appears I have failed you, Hierarch. I do not believe so, Karax. It is said that the Zelnaga came from a place where no life should be. This aligns with Zeratul's prophecies. We will go in. Make preparations at once. Zeratul, many thought you mad. And yet, once more. 
You have seen truer than us all. The Keystone leads us into the Altarian Rift, to the Zelnaga home of Ulnar. It is my destiny to carry your mantle, old friend. I will wake the Zelnaga and honor your legacy. Hierarch, I have been pondering the events that brought me here. I have discovered there are holes in my memory. Battles recorded here in the ship's archives that I should be able to recall, but cannot. What is it you have found? Records of my defeat at Antioch and being revived as a dragoon. But this body... It is clear to me that I am no Dragoon. There is more to those records, Phoenix. But what you uncover may not be desirable. I am willing to face the truth, old friend, however difficult it may be. Then I hope you find the answers you seek. How Zeratul foresaw the Keystone would lead us here is uncanny. It is now clear that it was this device's primary purpose. Zeratul was in touch with an expression of reality beyond my understanding. This place should not exist. It defies all decrees of science, shatters all understanding of astral mechanics. I once thought we Protoss had reached the pinnacle of attainable knowledge. I was a fool. There is far more in the galaxy than exists within Protoss understanding, friend Karax. I know this now. It is hard to believe we stand above Ulnar, the home of the Ihan Ri, the Zelnaga. The Judicators theorized the Zelnaga left Ayr to return to a place such as this. It is said they slumbered through the ages. Zeratul believed the artifact would lead us unto hope. The Zelnaga may be the hope he spoke of. If the legends are true, then the Zelnaga are below, awaiting their children to awaken them. Then let us hope so. Hierarch, it appears we cannot receive transmissions while we are within the rift. We have been cut off. You dare too much, Artanis. Your youth makes you rash. Seeing Phoenix once more perplexes me. I feel sadness, but I should feel joy. It is said the warrior Phoenix was felled by the Queen of Glades. This approximation is not Phoenix, but he is a reminder of the loss you suffered. His voice, thoughts, his very presence. He describes memories we shared with such vivid recollection. Every instinct I have tells me that this is my friend. But all logic defies it. We, of the Nerezim, often ponder whether our people are the sum total of their experiences, or are more than them. A truth lingering inside us. In time, we shall see if this phoenix has his own truth, or is little more than a flawed forgery. The Spear of Adun's sensors have located what appears to be an access way into the temple. Our starships are prepared to move on your command. Here lies the resting place of the Zelnaga. 
We must find a way to unseal this access way if we are to awaken them. Rand Preserver, what do you know of the temple in the depths below? Only myth, legend. Here upon Alnar, the destined races will seek ascension. Their very presence shall open the way forward. I believe these celestial locks are the key. Our forces should claim them in the hopes the way forward presents itself. Hyrock, the Taldorim are here. They are taking control of the celestial locks. Amon's forces have been defeated. Our warrior's presence should allow us to lay claim to the lock. Hyrock, the Taldorim have deployed a titanic warp prism. If its core is similar to our own, the reactor is made of pure solarite. If possible, we should destroy it and claim the reactor to enhance our solar core. The lock is now ours. These energy patterns indicate once we control the other four, the temple will open. All five locks have been captured, Hierarch. The access way is opening. It seems Amon's forces have drawn back. I sense only a great stillness from within the temple. Then we have succeeded. It will not be long before we see what fate has in store for us. I'm afraid the Spear of Adun will not be able to assist you inside the temple. Please be careful, Hyrock. Amon's forces arrived here before we did. The temple may already be under his control. Zeratul believed the other Zelnaga were here, and that they would stand with us against Amon. They could end the war. My people could be free once again. Then why have the Zelnaga not answered us? I am going into the Ulnar Temple alone, Matriarch. I do not intend to risk any more lives. You risk your own life on the word of a traitor. He killed your mother, Vorazun. That is true. But he was never a traitor. I do not wish for death. Only to see Zeratul's visions fulfilled. You will return. That much, I believe. To find the Zelnaga. Dare we dream of it? Entaro Adun, Artanus. These records are fascinating, Artanus. I can hardly believe the stories they contain. Since we arrived here, the Keystone has reacted strangely. It's as if it is attuned to the energies below. Energies below? Yes. Void energies exude from this place. I believe this world is a conduit between dimensions. And the Keystone? Acts as if siphoning these energies. This is entirely different from how the Origin Point information was stored. As if the Keystone was reconfigured for a second purpose. Let us hope that the Zelnaga themselves can reveal the truths you're looking for. Adun Toridas, Hyrak. Vorazun, I know not what I shall find below, but I know I must go alone. You are in command of the Spear of Adun now. Until you return, Artemis.
queen of blades. I have come seeking the Zeldog. call this place the Temple of Unification. The Zelnaga are somewhere within. So far all I've encountered are hybrid. I've been fighting them for days. Progress has been difficult. The prophecies foretell of two ascended races working together to seek out the halls of revelation within the temple. Only with both present will the shrines reveal the means to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. I've never cared much for prophecy. And yet, despite our history, here we stand, together. Perhaps you should start. I serve my people. Let us make for the shrine. Speak. Halt! Do you sense that? A great power awakens within this construct. Purity of form. Purity of essence. Prove your strength. Stay close to me, Kerrigan. My psionic abilities can mend our wounds. In unity. Make it quick. Ak and Vyash. So the constructs hold the keys. Good to know. Let us proceed. These devices emit solar energy. We should gather them. There can be no doubt. Our knowledge is your heritage. We are strong. Look out! Hybrid! The future is upon A key is still missing. Hmm. There is a powerful energy across this chasm. Kerrigan, remain here. I must investigate this. Harak and Vyash. A bold plan. Kerrigan, the construct is coming for you. Shall strong. Fate is with us. The shrine still functions. should be active shortly. Friends of yours? Not quite. It appears Amon's forces have found a way into the temple. We must slay them all. I think I'm starting to like you, Artanis. 
make it. Let's finish this. Then we can see what your shrine has to say. Serve my people. I... I see now. The Zelnaga were the first. Born within the void. Their sacred purpose was to cultivate life and perpetuate the infinite cycle. At a new universe's creation, they take a physical form. If destroyed, they are thrust back into the void. All of this time, they have waited for us to assemble the Keystone and find our way here. my people, possessing them through the Kala. But he has no physical form. If he were separated from the Templar, he could be forced back into the Void. Come on, Artanis. We've still got a long way to go. Strength in unity. Let's go. It won't be long until our enemy pushes further into the temple. Our path is clear. It seems you were correct. Well then, shall we? Our path is clear. The passage has caved in. We must find another way forward. Our path is clear. The Taldarim are breaching into the Hall of Revelation. Ready your blades, Templar. The shrines look like they're covered with pictograms. How do you know what they say? Communing with the shrine is more than reading carvings. Each atom of the stone has been placed with meaning, purpose. It was here. Zelnaga began to seed the universe with life. They created us, just as they gave life to a numberless assembly of races in other universes. Every time, they observe and identify the potential of their offspring, never interfering. The infinite cycle will always be the same. Two races are destined to emerge. One, pure of essence, an indomitable spirit capable of great change, and one pure of form, a being capable of vast psionic potential, able to house the essence of a Zelnaga. Purity of essence and form, the Zerg and the Protoss, but if the Zelnaga do not interfere, then it was Amon who uplifted my people. All we thought was the Zelnaga was a lie. Come on, Artanis. We're not far from having some answers. I believe this must be the final hall. Wait. The doors are open. The constructs destroyed. The shrine is under attack! This can only be the work of Aeon. We delay no longer. Our salvation will not be stolen from us. Our... Let's get to that shrine. Clear. The Dark God has foreseen your death, Kerrigan. We shall deliver you to it. This door is impassable. We must find a way around. With honor. By blood and fire, we shall be reborn! His people are maniacs. Our destiny awaits us. For Zeratul! For Aya! Only darkness awaits. Done. Do your shrine thing, Artanis. These gods of yours have a lot to answer for. Ahead of us, within the chest. 
Chamber of Ascension, the Zelnaga have slumbered as civilizations grew, fell, and formed again. They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle. So, what do you say? Ready to meet your maker? Indeed. Come. The Chamber of Ascension lies ahead. And our salvation within. Something's not right here. output of void energy spiking from the temple below. Target the epicenter. us fools? Yes, but that is irrelevant. What is relevant is that Amon has opened the gateway to the void. Dark energies pour from within, and they will burn through your precious leader and any who oppose Amon. I can guide you to Artanas before this fate befalls him. If we are bold, we can stop the Dark God's assault. Am I to believe that the moment you're released, your blade will not be in my back? You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. You will 
take us to Artanis. Most wise. I have brought an additional defensive ability online, Matriarch. Please visit the Solar Core to configure it.